Well, well, that can't be true. Uh, Arlene's not dead. I got a note from her. She wrote to me and sent me a Christmas present. And you spoke to her. You met her at the boathouse and went to Amsterdam and she signed your divorce papers. So, she can't be dead, right, Mateo? Tell her the truth. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. It's true. I disposed of her body myself. Oh. Oh, God, no. Don, we now are gay of battle. Fa la 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 la. Troll the ancient Yuletide carol. Fa la 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 la. Wonderful. Thank you. There's nothing like a Christmas carol to put you in the holiday spirit. Oh, it's such a beautiful. Night. Would it would it be terrible if some of us joined you? Oh, we'd love it. Oh, you can help us think more. Yeah, come on, let's get our coats, everybody. <laughs> Petey and I are gonna finish frosting those Christmas cookies that Grandma wrote. Oh, you are, are you? All right, well, just make sure that some of them make it onto the plate, okay? Mm. Laura, come on, mm. join us, okay? Free hot chocolate. Oh, is it laced with anything? Laura. Well, I don't want to get pushed in the path of Santa's sleigh. <laughs> you your musical pipes, Junior. You think that uh, maybe we could pass by Bianca's house? Any special reason why? I don't know, maybe just wish her a happy holidays. Oh. All right, uh, everybody, let's let the carolers lead the way. Okay, let's, go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Mary. What's in the little blue shopping bag? Oh, uh, something from my best girl. Just give me a hint. How many carrots? Enough to keep Bugs Bunny fat and happy. <laughs> okay, we gotta go. We gotta catch up with the boys at the folks' house. All okay? right, All no, right. let's go. Hey, season's greetings. Oh, been holiday shopping? Yeah. The boys had a long wish list this year. Nothing in there for your husband? No, I've already got everything I want, thank you. Oh, Uncle Palmer left the tickets for the Winter Carnival with the concierge. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Small world. Kidding. I can't seem to cross the street without bumping into you. It's our cosmic attraction, Tad. Your yin, my yang. Leslie, ten minutes of regrettable sex has nothing to do with karma. So why don't you just do yourself a favor and forget about it? I can't do that. Well, you better... You better at least give it the old college try. Because what happened means nothing to me, okay? Nothing. Spartan, your suite's ready. Here's the key. What? I'm sorry? My mistake. Merry Christmas. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Let's blow this pop stand. Okay. Merry Christmas. Not as merry as I want it to be. Not yet. Mom? Did you hear what I said? Mom? Bianca, you need to hurry and get dressed. We're so horribly late, and it wasn't easy to pull this press conference off, you know, so close to Christmas. Those reporters, those photographers, I know they want to get home to their families. And, and to keep them waiting, this would be unforgivable. Mom, can't you even look at me? Please. Turn around, face me, face who I am. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to blurt it out like that, but I, I just, I couldn't pretend anymore to be someone I'm not. I told your Uncle Jack that sending you to that rehab center was a complete mistake. And it was. I was right. I wish I had listened to my instincts. What that girl did to you, that horrible girl. Who, Sarah? She didn't do anything to me. Oh, of course she did. 
She's older than you are, and she preyed on you. She preyed on your youth and your inexperience. No, no, we were friends. We were soulmates. Oh, Bianca, you were sick. You were fighting a disease. You were scared. You were vulnerable. And, and, and she took advantage of you. She, she tried to confuse you, tried to get you to think that you're something that you're not. That's not true. Of course it is. I mean, I have no idea what she said to you to, to try to convert you. She said she loved me. She still does. But, but we can't be together because she's afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid that... that her mother won't love her anymore. Because Sarah is not who her mom needs her to be. That is Sarah's problem, Bianca. Not yours. Honey, I think that when you've had time to... calm down... and think this through logically... Oh, what, Mom? I won't be gay anymore. Stop it! Don't ever say that again! Bianca, you're only 16 years old. The teen years can be very confusing. You're not even sure who you are I, I know what I feel and what I don't feel for boys. Honey, how could you? You haven't even dated yet. Mom... Leo is, is drop-dead gorgeous. All the girls want him, except me. Well, honey, maybe he's just not your type. I mean, look at me. I've spent my life looking for Mr. Wright, but just because I haven't found him doesn't mean that I'm that way. But I am. Did I miss something along the way? I mean, I know that my breakup with Travis was very hard on you, that you were very angry and, and you acted out, but we got you the help you needed. And I didn't think that the damage was permanent. Mom, I'm not a child anymore. I'm not acting out. This has nothing to do with you or Daddy or Uncle Jack. Then, then what does it have to do with? I mean, you were perfectly normal before we sent you to that awful rehab center and then that, that, that girl. Mom, Sarah did not make me gay. I've known that I've had these feelings ever since I can remember. I, I, just, I just wasn't sure what they were. Honey, you're still not sure. I mean, you were fighting an eating disorder, and, and your self-esteem was, was non-existent. And then along came this Sarah, and she enlisted you to be her friend. Mom, Sarah and I were more than friends. We were lovers. I told my mother once that I would rather die than be like her. And she swore to me that someday my daughter would look me in the eye and say something just as hateful. But I never imagined that you could be this cruel. What happened? You fainted. Stay, stay still. I'm going to call Jill Martin. No, I'll do that. No, no, I'll get you some water. No, 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 no. Stop it. I, I, I don't need water. I don't need Joe Martin. I, I need to know exactly what happened on the boat that night. Tell her, Adam. Or I will. I saw you run from the deck. I found Arlene's body. I went over and I looked for a pulse. There wasn't any. I knew I had to act quickly, so I made sure the coast was clear. And I threw her body overboard. Then. You knew then. You all, you all knew then, right? You were all in on this. I mean, the note, 
Yeah, I wrote it, really. Ted, and my Christmas present. That was me. <laughs> what about the divorce papers? Adam hired someone to forge the divorce papers. Why? Why? Because Arlene was more troubled dead than she was alive. Haley, oh. Haley, we, we wanted to care for you. By lying to me? By treating me like I'm Colby's age? Sweetheart, what happened that night was not your fault. Whoa, how, 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 how do you figure that? I wrapped my hands around her throat and I choked her to death. Whose fault is that? That would be my fault. I killed her and... I have to find Eric. And I have to tell him what happened. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're not telling Derek a thing. Ryan, grandma said you were. Ryan? time to do this you mean in between the frantic phone calls to investors and creditors trying to keep my company from tanking it's important to you it's your dream I had a good ride I did but I missed something along the way while I was granting all of those wishes I lost my biggest blessing you it wasn't your fault Yes, it was. Yes, it was. I should never have let you go. I I promised myself that I would treasure you, and, and I just started closing myself off again. And then I woke up this morning when I realized that we hadn't missed Christmas yet, and there was still time to make it happen for us. <sighs> Jill, you don't understand. There is nothing on my wish list except for you. You are You're everything I want. Absolutely everything that I need. So you did this for us. I did it for you. To show you that you are in my heart every day of every year that we are together. But, um, um, what, what about the money? You need every penny right now to help IncredibleDreams.com. I, um... I had a better dream. So I sold the company. Hello, Merry Christmas! Oh, oh, hi! Oh, oh. Hey, hi! How are you? Good to, good to, good to see you. you. I've just come from the church pageant. It was oh, lovely. Well, where's Ruth? Oh, she'll be here anyway. She, she's got to give out the turkeys and the toys, and then she'll be home. Yeah. Myrtle, is there any chance that Ray is going to be joining us oh, in my valley darling. for the holidays? <laughs> we have been playing tag on that phone forever, mm. but we'll Dad. get together real soon. Dixie could, I hope so. Can I just open just one present? Why? Oh. You got one scoped out? <laughs> Does Santa drive a sleigh? Here, show me. Come on, it's the one from Grandma Grandpa. Hey, listen, I'm going to go have some punch. <laughs> Excellent move. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, thank you. And Dixie? Yes? <laughs> I want to apologize for coming down on you for defending David Haywood. Oh. Me too, Dix. Oh, thank you. Well, forget about it. It's Christmas Eve, right? <laughs> silly, silly silliness. Thanks. Alex, thank you. <laughs> we'll see. Listen, I want to show you something. Yes. All right. Hey, bro. I always yeah. get such a kick out of the boys at Christmas. Yeah, oh, they're such great kids. I had such good times in Manhattan with everybody. Yeah, staring at the lights at the Christmas tree at Rock Hill Center. Hmm? Leslie Coulson taking the kids out for chestnuts so we could have some time alone. She's a nice person. Oh, yeah, yeah, Leslie's um, full of surprises. Do you know if there's somebody special in her life? What makes you ask? 
looked up just wondering. Well, I, I don't know. I have no interest uh, in Leslie's private life. I, no. Well, I was just thinking that maybe I could take her out to lunch, you know, and find out if there's somebody that she's seeing, because otherwise, I mean, maybe, maybe she'd be nice, you know, for Jake. No. No, don't do that. That's not a very good idea. My, uh, look, um, I don't want you matchmaking. I don't want you strategically placing any mistletoe. My brother can take care of his own love life, okay? Okay. You're the boss. Since when? Since I peeked inside that little blue shopping bag. <sighs> Think. Hmm. Mm. Mom, you actually think that I came out, that I told you that I'm gay to hurt you? I do nothing than try to please you, try to accommodate you. But everything I do is misunderstood. I mean, I gave you a party that any girl, well, it would be any girl's idea of heaven. You mean any normal girl, right, Mom? But you reacted as if you were being tortured, as if I were holding you up for public ridicule. Because that's the way it felt. Mom, I'm not you. I'll never be you, and I have known that since forever. I never have asked Mom, you. Mom, stop never... dismissing me, please. You're not the only person in this room. I'm here, too. Your daughter is here, and she has feelings that matter, too. Of course you Mom, do. Mom, all of my life, I have felt like I didn't belong anywhere to anyone until Sarah. For the first time, I felt at home with someone. I felt like I belonged, but I was also afraid. Afraid of what? Of you. Of how you would react if you found out about me. I was scared to death that you would be ashamed and embarrassed and disappointed. That's why I didn't want that stupid party. That is why I got drunk and I tried to make out with the captain of the boys' soccer team. I just wanted to please you, Mom. I just wanted to make you happy. I lived a lie so that you would stay tucked away in your comfort zone so that you wouldn't be ashamed if the whole world knew what you didn't want to admit that your daughter is gay. That's enough. I, I don't want to hear any more now. Was lovely. Merry Christmas, everyone. Erica, why don't you and Bianca put on something warm and come join us? You know, troll the old Yuletide Carol. Oh, oh, well, thank you, but we have other plans this evening. Hey, Bianca, I heard you sing at the school the other night, and you were really, really good. I was wondering if you wanted to come sing some harmonies with us. Not tonight. S some other time. Bianca, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Laura. Well, ho, 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 ho. Oh, Jackson. <laughs> it's good to see you. I'm a little you. worried about Erica. Something's not sitting right with her tonight. And uh, be a dear, why don't you see if you can find out what's troubling her? You bet I will. And you have a Merry Christmas, okay? All right. Same to you. Uh, good night, Erica. I'll call you in the morning, okay? Find out what Santa brought you. All right. Merry Christmas, honey. <laughs> You do realize you have members of the press waiting for you. I certainly me. do, yes. Is there a problem? No. Christmas is my favorite season. Mom, stop. Stop pretending that everything is Santa Claus. Come in, Jack. Please yeah. come in. Do we have to air our dirty laundry in front of the whole neighborhood? I'm the one who's dirty, right, Mom? Yeah, well, what's going on here? Sarah was here. Mom walked in on us. I have to get out of here. Oh, Mom, please don't. Where are you going? I told you I have people waiting for me. I can't let them down. No, Mom, you can reschedule. Please, Mom, this is important to me.
Now, I really wanted to wait to Christmas morning. I really did, but I can't. I want you to have this now. Go ahead, open it, open it. I saw it in a, uh, in a window of a jewelry store, and, and I couldn't believe it. I mean, it looks exactly like you, so I knew you had to have it. Do you like it? Hey. Hey, hey, it's okay. Princess. Shh, 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 shh. Listen, we're gonna, we're gonna start over together. We're gonna make it. Don't worry, I promise you. No. It's not because you sold the company or I'm afraid of being poor. Well, what is it? What's the matter? Um, I was gonna wait to... What is this, a check? Princess, what did you do? Rob a bank? Where did you get this? Grandmama gave me a cameo. This cameo. This is yours? It belonged to my great-great-grandmother, and it was worth a lot, and I sold it. You sold this? Something that you treasure? Why would you do that? So that you could hold on to your dream. Princess, I have my dream. Right here, close to my heart. Don't you ever let me forget that. Promise me that. I promise you. Haley, please, listen to Mateo. Mateo's right, sweetheart. Turning yourself into the police is not an option. Oh, I murdered my mother. I have no other options. You want to hear your options? You, you go to Derek, you confess to murder. A, they're going to put you in jail for life. B, you'll, you'll get the death penalty. I, I am not going to let you pay for something that your mother did to you. On her worst day, Mateo, in her worst bender, she never tried to kill me. The hell she didn't. She spent her life trying to drown herself with booze, and then she wanted to drown you right along with her. Oh, okay, Adam, you're, you're not helping. Haley, when you were on the boat, it was an accident. You were drugged through no fault of your own. Arlene provoked you. You weren't there. You were an eyewitness. You didn't see what happened. Look, we all know what kind of woman your mother was, Haley. She caused a great deal of pain for everyone in this family. Any one of us here could have done what you did that night. As it is, we are all accomplices to the fact. If you tell the police, the police will ask you about the cover-up. And it'll incriminate me. And me. And me. And me. I didn't ask any of you to cover for me. How long do you think we can hide the truth? As long as Arlene lies in her watery grave. That will haunt me forever. Sweetheart, she got the end she deserved. God, I don't know what I'm going to do. Then do nothing. Just do nothing. Derek will question the police in Amsterdam. When the lead grows cold, they'll black burn the case. They're just looking for a stolen necklace. In a few months, no one will remember Arlene Vaughn ever existed. I'll remember her. I'll remember the look on her face as I was choking the life out of her. I want to be alone with my wife. We'll be in the uh, in the study if you if you if you need us. We love you. That's what all this is about. You're in hell right now, and all you can think about is your mom and and what happened. But you mean how I killed her? Haley, you warned her. You 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 told her. You you told her what would happen if if she messed with you and your marriage again. You, I you was did. angry, she the line. and I was out of she control. She crossed the line. She Mateo. crossed the line, and you know what? We can't go back. 
we, we have to go forward, right? You know, I was thinking that maybe we just think about us now, okay? We because we have our family to start, right? Right, as if I feel worthy. You I'm are, starting you a are family. You are worthy. Haley, your mother's taken so much from you, but you know what? She's not gonna take anything anymore. That's it. It's over. You want you want to say a prayer for your mom? Fine. It may, may she rest in peace. But this this is our time. This, this is our life, and I, I'm, I'm not gonna let you throw it away because you feel guilty. I am guilty. You, she, she, you were drugged, and you didn't know what you were doing. And she, she taunted you, and she pushed your buttons, and you snapped. And I would have done the same thing. Listen, I, I promise we'll make sense out of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just just sit. I'm gonna get some tea or something, all right? We'll, we'll figure this out. Everyone, a toast? Oh, okay. All right. A warm, happy, and safe holiday to all. Here, 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 here. And for anything you didn't get that was on your Christmas list, there's always the morning after sale at Lacey's, right? That's the kind of It's a beautiful night out. We're lucky we can find a Christmas wishing star. Ah, there it is. Oh, no, you're right. You want to do the honors? Mm, no, you do it. You do it for the both of us. Okay. In that case, I wish for another year with my family. My wonderful family, full of love, hope, and forgiveness. If life ever comes crashing through our front door, I hope we hang on to each other tight. And remember what brought us back together. It'll keep us that way. Forever. That was perfect. Hi, uh, I've got a package here for Tad Martin. Oh. Ah, Mrs. Tad Martin. <laughs> I am Mrs. Tad Martin. Just sign right there. Don't help. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay, wait, wait, this is for you, and uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Drive safe. Yeah. So, Mr. Martin, who's the gift from? Let me tell you something maybe you don't know about your mother. She spent most of her adult life looking for a man to replace her father. And now I think she's... I think she's afraid. Afraid of what? Then maybe you're looking for a woman to replace her. That's insane. Is it? Oh, I don't know. I just thought I'd throw it out there. In my experience, the heart wants what the heart wants, and devil take the hindmost. I think you're just going to have to give your mother a little bit of time to get used to this whole idea. Can't she see that I am still the same person? No. Not now. Not yet, but she'll come walking back through that door and the two of you will sit down and you will work through this and it will all work out eventually. I promise you. Forgive me, please, for keeping all of you waiting. Erica, where's Bianca? Don't tell me Miss Young Enchantment's a no-show. Well, now, you know how teenagers are. It seems that my daughter has a boyfriend who uh, is much more important to her than a modeling career. So, the enchantment mother-daughter campaign is off. Steve, how long have you known me? I have never canceled a campaign. I'm not going to start now. Now I'm just going to um, change the focus a little bit. How? Well, for one thing, my daughter Bianca will be working behind the scenes. Where she belongs. And I am very pleased and very excited to announce that I am going to be returning to the spotlight and I will be in Chapman's top spokesmodel. Bravo! Viva Erica! About time. I'm so glad you've come to your senses. Well, thank you, Bruce. If you all will just give me two minutes, I promise then I will be all yours. Excuse me.
Uncle Jack, it, it doesn't bother you that I'm gay? No. No, not, not at all. You know, we're about to celebrate the birthday of a very important man. A man who was the embodiment of love and acceptance and compassion. I couldn't love you any more if you were my own daughter. And there's nothing that would ever change that. Oh, come here, sweetie. I wish Mom felt the way you do. Business with Chandler Enterprise. That's an expensive thank you. What'd you do to earn it? Tad, to you and me in New Year's Eve, when we'll be toasting the future together. Christmas, we both got everything Mara wanted. Sleep. 